Now, those latest stabbings have riders on edge once again, and now the NYPD is making some changes, hoping to keep everyone safe. I want to news reporter Darla Miles is live in Lower Manhattan with the details. Darla. Liz, but just a short while ago, the NYPD updating its latest crackdown that focuses on turnstile jumpers. That's called Operation uh, Fair Play. That's fair spelled F-A-R-E, not F-A-I-R. In this initiative, 800 officers will flood stations in strategic locations across the city for at least five days. Now, the hope is that the crackdown on fare beaters will help lead to a reduction in subway crime overall and help with the challenge of repeat offenders. That was also the focus of an MTA hearing I attended earlier today. We got more cops in the system. We've got cameras all over the place. There are cameras all over the subway, both surveillance cameras and cell phones that quickly help track down offenders. But the MTA says crime is not the number one problem for strap hangers. Their number one issue is seeing someone who has an emotional disturbance, who has a mental health crisis, and you don't know if they're violent or not. The vast majority of times they're not, but you don't know. At the end of January, we saw a concerning 46.7% increase in overall crime in the subway system. MTA Chief of Transit Michael Kemper Monday morning updating the board on how the surge of National Guard troops and uniformed officers has been helping to bring that number right back down. So far for the month of March alone and as of right now today overall crime is down 15.5 percent. While the statistics indicate that crime is trending downward, we did experience some unfortunate high-profile incidents that weigh heavily on our riders' minds. Those incidents, the gory slashing of an MTA conductor in February and a mass shooting on the A train in Brooklyn earlier this month. Last year, 38 individuals were arrested for 41 complaints of assaults on MTA workers. Those 38 individuals have been arrested a combined total of 1,126 times. Also Monday morning, the MTA showing off a new real-time surveillance camera system being piloted in 100 buses across the city. Another tool in the toolbox to try to bring crime down. It's a deterrent, number one, and a reminder that if you do something on our system, you know, we have the opportunity to catch it on camera and, and bring you to, you know, bring that to the authorities. Now, those who ride the buses across the city should look to see those high, uh, high def LED monitors installed through the end of the year, and that pilot program will run through the beginning of 2025.